So I'm with Tamsin, one of our rangers, and she's looking after the wallabies here today. So tell me, how many wallabies have we got? So we've got 17 out in the paddock at the moment, and at least another four ready to come out of pouches any day. Great. So lots of babies to be yeah, seen here. Lots of them. Uh, and it's a, it's a lovely family group. Uh, and they are iconic, aren't they? When you see those, those wallabies bouncing around, people love it. And they see the little baby sticking its head out of that pouch. So tell me about that process. How long is mum pregnant for? So mum's pregnant for about 29 days and then she gives birth to a little embryonic joey mm -hmm. that will then climb into the pouch um, and will be in there developing for nine months. And then as soon as that little joey's developed, it will be um, in and out of pouch and with mum for a further three to nine months on top of that. Right. And what species have we got here? So we've got Bennett's wallabies or also known as redneck wallabies. They come from Australia. Yeah. Um, they're a medium-sized wallaby, so they're not too big. And they're lovely because you've got that lovely slate grey with the, the, the reddish brownie yeah. tinge running up. We've also got a handful of albino wallabies in here as well. Um, that doesn't occur naturally um, in the wild. We don't breed ours to be like that. We don't really want them to come out um, albino because they do have quite a few issues. And one of those issues for the albinos is the fact that they get a bit sunburned, don't they? A couple of them need a bit of sun cream every now and then, especially one of our older boys needs a little bit of extra care. A little bit of TLC. Yeah. And uh, food-wise, I mean, they're on a lovely grass paddock. You see them grazing a lot. Grass is obviously important in their diet. What about the wild? Um, so in the wild, they'll also eat lots of browse, lots of branches off the trees and things like that. But they'll also root around for large um, leafed plants, as well as lots of roots and, and yeah. anything they can get a hold of. And one of the things that you instantly see with wallabies and kangaroos is their amazing jump, their yeah. hop. And they really go for it. They go quite fast, can't they? Yeah, so they've got incredibly powerful back legs. Um, and when they do really get going, they can go at quite a speed. So that long old tail, when they're bouncing away on those big feet, is it almost like a counterbalance? Yeah, it helps keep them balanced when, they're, when they hit quite a strong momentum. And having those big flat feet on that tail allows you, well, allows them to be able to sit back on the tail and then look up as well. Yeah, they do quite often use their tail to, to rest. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great thing if you can. Yeah. I love them. They're absolutely brilliant. So there we go. They're all your wallaby facts. <laughs>